All-terrain vehicles and quad bikes are something that's very desirable for criminals. The main reason for this here is just really the value of the item and also the manoeuvrability. It's very, very easy to put the likes of a quad in the back of a van or in the back of a trailer and be gone in a couple of minutes. Now, how do you prevent this happening? Firstly, if you're not using the vehicle, keep it in a secure shed. That shed should be locked with a high quality padlock and if possible that padlock should be shrouded. Also think about having an alarm installed in that shed. Other things that you can do is you can use wheel clamps to clamp the vehicle down or anchoring points which can be chained to the quad. Other things that you can do is actually block the quad in by using a larger vehicle so that any criminals comes along they have to lift the quad out over the vehicle. Another important thing to do with the quad is actually remove the keys from it. It's the simplest and easiest thing to do. A more formalised way of doing this identification is, would be by the use of a seizure kit. A seizure kit is a, a worldwide identification scheme. It is mainly used in the agricultural and construction industry. And on a quad, the most obvious way of seeing a seizure kit is fitted is the green triangle. Another thing that you could think about for your quad is actually using a tracker system. I would recommend that any tracker system you use should have three different types of technology onto it. The most common of these are GPS, mobile phone signal and also VHF. By using all three different technologies it is most, more likely not to be blocked. For any more information on security of rural rural crime or quads, please contact your local crime prevention officer on the non-emergency telephone number 101.